Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bazogue token. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, if you haven't seen the previous update, it's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the video. Now, also before we get into the video, I do want to mention my Patreon. We do have a Patreon on the channel. We have five different tiers, different benefits such as you know patron only updates a separate community chat general support early access personal technical analysis and video requests all that good stuff low cap gem calls what i'm buying what i'm selling all of that is going to be in the patron great way to support me and a great way for me to give back to those who support me as you can see the lower tiers aren't that expensive so you can think of it as buying a cup of coffee but instead of the coffee you get a lot of useful information that will potentially make you, you know, some money and, uh, you know, you're, you're going to get back basically your investment in the Patreon. So, yeah, with that being said, let's jump into the four hourly chart. So we did have a Fibonacci retracement last time uh, we had a video on Bazooka and we had the slow at, I'm just going to call the last six digits of the price. So 002609 was the price that we had. And as you can see, we had a perfect wick off of that area. So if you had some buy orders around that area, you're pretty much filled in right now and you're already up. Well, I forget. I always forget that the charts don't really work on uh, on Dex tools for some reason, but you're up quite a bit right from from uh, 002640 all the way to 004373. So I think that's like a 2x, right? That's around about it to almost, yeah, well, st not a 2x, but you get what I'm saying. You know, it's 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 quite a lot. But yeah, we're starting to form some sort of an uptrend over here because you're making uh, higher lows and you're making higher highs. And we're attacking the 55 EMA on the four hourly chart. So that's bullish in itself. We're about to get the bullish cross between the 10 EMA and the 20 EMA, which is always, always great. And right now, what I want us to do is basically get above the 55 EMA, hold that as support, and then get the bullish cross with the 20 EMA crossing the 55 EMA. So that's that's what I envision happening if Bitcoin behaves and we don't have any more FUD through into you know thrown into the market. But obviously, we can have a pullback at any moment. So you still want to have your buy orders potentially. At this little you know zone over here at this bottom because what can end up happening is we create this nice little double bottom pattern and we come back to this pattern as well but i wouldn't necessarily want to see that happen because as you can see we started breaking out of the falling wedge over here and the target out of this falling wedge is basically where the wedge was created over here at 008759 and the last video, I did give you a very important resistance level that you want to break through and backtest as support in order to continue and in order to be uh, almost certain that you're coming for the full uh, retracement, basically. But that price is 008035 over here or 8056. So, yeah, this is the important level that you want to break because what can happen is you can hit your head on this level and get sent back for a lower low. You know, that would be a dead cat bounce, so to speak, but we don't really want to see that. Now, if I bring on the oscillators, you can see that the RSI has, you know, it's just, it's just effed up. I don't, I don't know what, what is going on over here, but we're not going to be using the oscillators. Uh, let's jump into the daily chart. Maybe we'll see a bit of a different situation over there with all the oscillators. Uh, so, okay, the daily chart seems to be doing a bit better with the oscillators. Obviously, we had this whole glitch thing over here on the left side. Ignore that. So, here you can see that we're consolidating right now and we started actually moving up. So, on the daily chart, what is happening right now is we're coming closer and closer and we're almost breaking the 10 EMA. So, we want to break 10, the 10 EMA, get above the 55 EMA so that the 20 EMA doesn't cross below the 55 EMA, right? So we don't want that bearish cross because that would potentially, after you get these bearish crosses, you know, you, you do see a lot of moves to the downside afterwards. So, you know, speaking historically, but obviously we can get a bearish cross and, you know, pump 
in the next couple of days and absolutely get the bullish cross in the next couple of days. But historically speaking, once you get a bearish cross on the daily chart, you're, you're going to, you know, you're going to see your hit, you're going you're gonna to hit your head on the EMAs basically, and they're going to push you uh, to the downside. So yeah, we want to get above the 55, have the bullish cross on the day, uh, well, have the bullish cross where the 10 EMA crosses above the 55 and the 20. And basically the healthy, the healthy, you know, position for the EMAs is the 10 EMA, the 20 and below is the 55. Right now we have the 20, the 55 and the 10 below the previous two. So we want to have the 10 EMA above the, the other EMAs. So yeah, that's, that's what we have over here on the daily chart. On the stochastic, we started moving up and potentially you want to take, you know, start taking profits once you get out of the purple box to the black area above the index of 80 on the on the stochastic RSI okay so keep that in mind but let's say okay let's say this was our bottom right and if we don't lose this low right because if you would have lost this low you would have had targets to the downside and you know that wouldn't be very nice but since we back tested this low right this is our strong support zone over here right now. We're potentially going to be looking for some targets to the upside right now. And what I'm going to do is lay another fib on the chart. So just bear with me. Uh, it won't get too, uh, you know, distracting. So what you're going to do is lay the fib from this low. And the previous swing high that we're going to be attacking is this swing high. Okay. So we're going to remove the previous fib just for a couple of minutes while we take a look at this new fib so okay as you can see as you can see so uh this is our low we're breaking through the 0 0.236 we have the golden ratio just around about 006673 so that can be your take profit zone as well and obviously the swing high of the fib is right over here at 009181 so that is our full retracement target out of the falling wedge and the full retracement for the entire fib retracement that we have set up over here now once you start breaking this swing high you're going to be looking at 001323 that is the 1.618 and once you break through the first fib level as you know you tend to you know have the 1.618 as your technical target and you know more often than not you get to that target so you know set up this fib the swing low is over here december 14th the swing high is over here december 3rd and that gives you the 1.618 once again at 001323 so that's what i'm looking at right now on the fib if you have any other questions or if i missed out anything on the charts do let me know down below in the comment section guys Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I do post technical analysis in there. We do have a Patreon. We do have a Telegram chat with a great community that's going to help you out if you have any questions. And we do have a Discord server where you can request technical analysis and get constant news updates from the crypto world. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.